All right, so in this, this will be a short video, but this video assumes you've completed the newest edition of the T-slot box. And that's just the box that will change sizes uh, accordingly using uh, the specified parameters uh, and making sure that you've built it in the correct way that it will do that. Today, I just wanted to introduce you to the idea of configurations. So if we look here uh, at the menu bar, we can see the configure tool here. Uh, the configure lets you create the same instance of a, a project or a, an object that you have, um, but with certain changes. Um, so for us today, we're gonna just make a couple um, different configurations of this box. And that's basically just changing the size of this box. So uh, just a couple of things to note, this will rely on us having parameters. And so we want to make sure that uh, you're, you have the correct parameters in here, height, width, depth, and uh, material thickness. That's what we'll use uh, today. There's a lots of other items you can add to, um, to the configurations uh, tool, but we'll just deal with these today. We'll go ahead and go to configure and let's just open it up. And we're now kind of in this configuration window. And um, here's where we're gonna have different configurations. So right here, there's just a basic one, it's called name. That's like a default name. Um, we're just gonna keep it at that for the moment. But now if we go to modify and we go back to our parameters and you can see that now that we've got this like blue outline of the, screen here, that's what we're looking for. Here, there's these check boxes now for configure, and we can actually configure all these or add these things to a configuration. We're just gonna focus on these parameters here, and I'm just gonna check them to include them now in the parameters. And that means that I can use each of these and uh, add them to a spe specific um, configuration that I have. So I'll just click OK now. And here you can see my height, width, depth, and material thickness parameters. Now I can go ahead and change this to whatever I want. Let's make it five, five, six, seven. That like sounds fine. And um, and so let's see here. Let's go ahead and right click. We can rename this. We'll just call it five by six by seven. Okay. And a pinch. pinch. And we'll keep the material thickness. So now this should be uh, reading as a, but let's add another one. So we're gonna click add configuration and you can uh, rename this to whatever you want. I'm just gonna go like, let's go eight by nine by 10. And now let's change these to eight, whoops, nine, and 10. Okay. And so this should be changing in size according to uh, which configuration we have activated. If I want to come back to this one, I can just right click on it, choose activate, and it should go back to that same size. So for this, op uh, for this um, tutorial, basically, I'd like you to go ahead and create five different uh, configurations of your T-slot box. Uh, you can use height, width, depth, and material thickness. Uh, if you'd like, uh, you can try and play with it and add different things. You can certainly add colors, appearances, so that it would change color according, on, according to which one you chose. Uh, but the idea is that you get familiar with this table, how to use it, and um, create five different configurations uh, of your T-slot box. Hopefully that'll go real quick and you can move on to the next tutorials. That's all. If you have any questions, please let me know.